So welcome everyone. Thank you all for attending our first virtual graduate and professional expo. My name is Mary Goldsmith and I am the career counselor in career space at Trent University. Career Space provides an authentic outlook on the career landscape by providing Trent students and alumni with meaningful experiences, necessary perspectives, and valuable resources. We offer virtual appointments, workshops, online resources, and opportunities to connect with employers and recruiters. These services are free for all Trent students and alumni. You can visit our website, trentu.ca slash careerspace to book an appointment or learn more about our services. So we are thrilled to have a representative from York University, Master of Social Work. And uh, just before we get started, our housekeeping items. Um, uh, if, uh, Pip, if you have time to put any contact information in the chat so that students could access it there, um, we will try to leave 10 to 15 minutes for questions following your presentation. And for students who are participating, if you could put any questions in the Q&A section at the bottom of the screen, and I will uh, keep an eye on those and share them with Pip at the end. And today's presentation will be posted to our Career Space YouTube channel. Without further ado, I'd like to welcome, welcome our guest from York. And so I'll allow you to introduce yourself and the floor is yours. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I'm um, very sorry for the technical issues that I had earlier. This is the first time, I promise you. Um, but anyways, I won't take up any more of your time. We'll just get right into the um, presentation. But my name is Pip Horn. I am the Program Engagement Coordinator for the School of Social Work at York University. Um, I both have my BSW and my MSW. Um, and so if you have any questions about the specific uh, job opportunities that are associated with both, um, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, Mary, I'm going to send you another email here that has a bunch of links um, because I don't know how to actually include these links in the chat function on the iPad. So I'm just gonna quickly send you those um, just so you can include them for me if possible. Okay. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna head right into the, um, the presentation. Um, so York you do use school social work, um, specifically our MSW program. We do also have a PhD social work program as well, but I'll be mainly focusing on our MSW program. Um, so students will receive a professional social work education that is characterized by commitment to human rights and social justice at York University. Um, we have dedicated instructor, instructors who draw from strong contemporary curriculum and their own practical experience, which will provide students the opportunity to acquire their own social work philosophies and skills. In light of this, um, it's belief in social justice social work is social justice work. The school consistently teaches a, uh, applied practice skills through the curriculum. The school teaches from a critical social work perspective um, that, uh, and the programs have a strong focus on theory and research. Our class sizes tend to be quite small, um, which it helps to encourage and engage discussions and are led by supportive faculty members. Our goal is to help prepare students to be critical thinkers and promoter, promoters of social justice and social change. So if you want to, um, if you're able to click on the next slide for me there. Mm -hmm. So this is just our, an overview of our tuition. This is approximately what our tuition is this year. It may change from one year to the next. So you can see full-time students, it's, uh, this is per term, um, 1,435. And our part-time students is approximately $717 per term plus any kind of additional supplementary fees. Um, if you wanna to turn to the next slide for me there. So this is our um, financial support that we provide to our grad students. So as you can see, we have two programs. We'll go in a little bit more detail about each. Um, so with time allowing. So our full-time advanced in the MSW program, students will receive $10,000 over three terms. Um, and our full-time MSW two-year students will receive approximately $16,500 over five terms. There's additional funding for people who have um, higher grades. So generally speaking, it starts at A minus, it goes up. 
And then uh, we also encourage our students to apply for internal and external scholarships, bursaries and awards um, alongside some of these other uh, funding uh, packages that we offer. All right, if we can just go to the next page. So these are some of the uh, diverse types of job opportunities after graduation for our MSW students. So when um, our MSW students graduate, um, these are the types of opportunities that um, are available along with a whole host of other different opportunities. But these tend to be, this is just a small nutshell of how many different opportunities that are available and where people are at. Um, so as you can see, it's very diverse. There's policy, there's advocacy, child welfare, mental health, more clinically based, long-term care facilities, et cetera. If you can change the mm -hmm. next one for me. Lovely, thank you. So um, as I mentioned, our MSW programs, we do have two programs for um, students interested in um, the program, the MSW program. The first one is our Advanced Standing MSW program, which is, uh, applies to only students with a BSW. So you have to complete a BSW degree from an accredited school, um, Bachelor of Social Work, or um, School of Social Work um, school. The full-time Advanced Standing MSW is, uh, six, is three terms, sorry. We also have a part-time program, which is six terms. So the full-time is three and the part-time is six. The second program we offer is, sorry, it's oh, a, no, not yet. Okay. That's okay. The second program we offer is the two year MSW program, which applies to students who do not have a BSW, but have an honors undergraduate degree in a related field. And this is completed over five terms. All right, go for it. Thank you. So I just wanted to go in a little bit about our advanced standing MSW program and the admission requirements. So applicants must have that BSW, as I mentioned, or an equivalent accredited social work degree from uh, that is um, stated by the Associates, Canadian Association of Social Work Education. So if you're an international student um, and you have a BSW, but you're not too sure if it would be an accredited from an accredited school, just reach out to, um, it's called CASWAY or the Canadian Association of Social Work Education. Um, you will need a minimum of a B plus average in the last two years of full-time study and a minimum of two years social work experience, which is preferred but not um, mandatory. If you've completed any placements, that type of, those hours are also um, can be counted towards that two year um, experience. You can go to the next slide for me. This is just a bit of an overview of the courses that you would be completing in the Advanced Standing MSW program. So there are four core courses, as you can see there, Critical Perspectives in Social Work, the Graduate Research Seminar, the Practice Research Paper Seminar, and Indigenous Worldviews and Implications to Social Work. Along with these four core courses, you will also be asked to choose two electives over the three terms. So it's two electives total, as well as one practicum. We'll go through that practicum in just a few minutes, but um, it's 450 hours and uh, we have a really great process to help students uh, find those placement opportunities. Um, if you can go to the next slide for me there, thank you. So these, this is our two-year MSW program admission requirements. So very similar to our um, advanced standing MSW program, you will need that B plus in the last two years of full-time study. Um, different than our advanced standing is that you don't actually need to have your BSW um, degree, you can have an, you will need to have an honor, so a four year honors undergraduate degree in a related discipline. There's a whole slew of different related disciplines. I didn't include a huge list because it incorporates a fair amount. If you're interested, um, there, the email that you can reach out to me is uh, grad, S O W K, so G R A D S O W K. Um, at yorku.ca. I think I might have provided that to Mary potentially in the email that I just sent you. I think I'll do it at the end. Lovely, thank you. <laughs> um, so you all also need to successfully complete an undergrad course in research methods that speaks more, that speaks to qualitative and quantitative methods. And as um, I said in the previous slide with the advanced study, 
we do like to have uh, students or applicants have at least two years of professional volunteer experience within an area of social work, and this can be quite broad. So if you're ever, if you're worried, uh, Mary will include that email address in the chat once we're able to. Um, so you can always reach out to us um, and just inquire about your specific research methods courses, see if they're applicable or if you have the enough experience, generally speaking you should, um, or even if it's relevant. So just feel free to reach out to us. And, um, and we do have a, uh, a question that came in ab about really? that two years, and I really appreciate that you're offering to have a conversation with uh, applicants about that, but the question is uh, how much weight is put on the two years of professional experience for the advanced yeah. standing MSW compared to the other requirements? So the application is looked at as a whole. And so you would need that B plus average to um, have your application looked at. However, everything else, it's kind of seen as a whole. So there, we'll go into it uh, in a few slides, but the application requirements as well. Um, and so part of the application requirement is that you would need to have a statement of interest, which essentially is kind of like a sample of your writing, but then also to better understand your interest and in why you want to apply to the MSW program at York. And so that's a really great way to let uh, the selection committee know the types of experiences you're hoping to gain, the goal of being of uh, taking your MSW at York, um, and just to learn a little bit more about your research interests as well as just your interest in social work itself. So that's a really great place to be able to say that. So the 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 two the two to go to specifically to your point, it's kind of seen as a whole. It's helpful to have the two year experience, but it's not necessary um, because the statement of interest, the resume that we're going to get through, the supplementary firm, which I'll go through a little bit further, they're all seen as together. And um, I think that just the experience will help potentially sometimes uh, help you write the statement of interest because you have a clear idea of what you want to get into. But that doesn't necessarily mean that's always the case. So it's helpful, but not required. If that helps. I hope that I answered your question there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Next slide. Yeah. Next slide, please. Yes. Thank you. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, you have to click on it twice there. Okay. There we go. So this, these, uh, these are the courses that you would need to complete in the two-year MSW. So as you can see, there are 10 core courses. Some are very similar to the, what you saw in the advanced standing. Um, that first year of your, the two year of the, the first year of the two year MSW program at C is more of a foundational year. Whereas the second year, the last two terms are seen as more of uh, the advanced standing piece. So you'll see some of the same courses there. Along with these 10 core courses, you will also need to complete four electives total over five terms along with two practicums, which we'll go through in a few slides. So yeah, you can see all, I won't go through them for sake of time, but you can see them here. Um, and you'll also be able to see them on our website too. So if you can flip to the next slide for me there. So here is just a list of all of the elective courses that have been available. Um, please note that um, only certain courses are available each year, but at least it gives you an idea of the types of courses that have been available in the past. This year, we are offering mindfulness and just relations in social work, um, along with, uh, I can't remember, I think there's a policy one there, a narrative therapy for social work is also being offered. Uh, we did have the critical social work in animals, the trans species social justice. Um, and I think family mediation is also being offered this year, along with a few others. Um, there are electives that are offered in the fall, winter, and summer terms. So um, lots of different selection, but it will differ from one year to the next. But it gives you an idea of the types of, um, types of elective courses that are on offer from one year to the other. You can go to, yeah, perfect. So just to briefly go over the practicum. Um, as I mentioned, the one-year advanced standing MSW program, along with the part-time advanced standing MSW program, they will need to complete a one placement of 450 hours. The two-year MSW pro, um, students will need to complete um, two practicums, 
The first is being uh, 550 hours, which happens in the winter term. So everybody starts in September. Um, and the first practicum starts in the winter for both the advanced standing uh, full-time students in the first year of the two-year program. Then in the second year of the two-year MSW program, uh, full-time, you will complete your 450 hour placement. So there'll be two there. Along with those two placements, uh, well, the placements, you will also need to complete four integrative, integrative seminars per um, chunk of hours, essentially. So if you have two placements, then you'll be doing essentially eight, four in one uh, allotment of placement, or 550 hours of placements, and your second, uh, you'll have to do another four integrative seminars. And this is where you're able to bridge theory into practice. You're able to connect with somebody about what you're learning in your placement, um, what you're also learning in classes, and you kind of bridge that, that, um, that gap, being able to talk to people about it and um, just be able to connect with somebody who's also in the field. Um, it's a really great point of support for people. Um, as you can imagine, students, this provides um, students with experiential training and an avenue to supply, to apply the um, theories and concepts that are learned in the classroom and helps prepare students to function as professional social workers. Our placement, um, our placement matching process is really student centric. Essentially what happens is we have a field team um, that helps students find uh, placement opportunities that align with their goals. We ask students to submit an online application um, once they receive an offer and they've uh, accepted the offer. This online application uh, goes through a little bit more about where the person is coming from in terms of location in Toronto, because they want to make sure that it's the opportunity is close, as close by as possible. They're also going to look at um, how the means of transportation, whether it's TTC or uh, car, um, as well as the areas of social work that the individual wants to learn about or the community. Um, and so people put that down and then they work well, they work, um, the field education team works with the students to find opportunities that um, align with these applications. Uh, the field team has over 200 uh, partners in the field and to be able to offer, uh, sorry, they have 250, 200, 250 uh, types of opportunities and partnerships with the people in the field. Um, and so there's a huge diversity in, t in terms of the opportunities that are on available, um, which could look like policy, advocacy, clinical. Um, so there's a huge variety there. Um, so yeah, please feel free to, to go to the next slide there. Okay. okay. <laughs> so this is uh, our practice-based research paper is another big portion of the program. Um, it's called the PRP or practice-based research paper. Um, it gives students an opportunity to pursue um, a research project of their interest and refine their skills in theory and research. Um, students will need to undertake the PRP within the context of two sequential courses. Both the, they start out in the graduate research seminar, which is also known as the GRS um, course. And then, so that would be in the, in the fall. And then they would continue into the winter course, which is called the PRS or the Practice Based Research Paper Seminar. One course builds upon the other. So in the first course in the GRS, you tend to learn a little bit more about research methods. You might hone in on the topic or the question you might wanna research. And in the second course and then in the PRS, that's when you actually complete the research. We are not a thesis based program. So there's no need to find a supervisor um, the faculty member associated with the section that you're part of would be considered sort of like a supervisor. These courses tend to be a lot smaller um, in number so that the supervision or the help that you might be able to prov be provided by the faculty member is quite substantial. So uh, the class sizes might be anywhere between eight and 12. So um, you're, it's, people are really supported throughout this the research time because I know that uh, putting together a 50 page paper can be a little bit daunting but there is a lot of support. All right so the next slide there this is um, going to be talking about how to apply. 
Um, I'm almost done, I promise. I hope I'm not. I'm hoping I'm within my time span. Um, <laughs> We're okay. Perfect. I'm trying to go a little bit quicker so people can ask questions there. But yes, yeah, so to submit, uh, if you're interested in applying, again, you will need that minimum of a B plus average. You'll need to write a two page written statement, including rationale for why you are applying to the York U School Social Work. So it's two pages or 500 words. So it has to be a max of 500 words. You can't um, make the text small so that you incorporate more um, because it does need to be read. So 500 words and or two pages. You'll also need to submit an updated resume or CV. This is what I say, what I think is more of a qualitative look at the experience that you might have within various different fields or social services or whatnot. Um, as well as you'll need to complete a supplementary information form, which can be found on our uh, website. You'll need to download it to fill it out. But essentially, it's a quantitative look at the amount of experience you come with. So say if you're volunteering, some people might volunteer for 10 hours, other people might volunteer for 500 hours. So this is a great way for the selection committee to know how much experience people come with. So this would be, um, you don't just need to put vol voluntary um, experience, um, but also paid experience as well would be part of this. Um, you can also put paid and volunteer voluntary experience on your resume, obviously. You will also need three letters of reference, one being an academic, one professional, and one of your choice. If you have been out of school for quite some time and are unable to find an academic reference, it is preferred, but it isn't required. It does help to strengthen your application, but um, if you have three really strong professional references, it's completely fine, and you would meet the requirements of the application process. You will also need, it says here official, I need to change it. It's actually unofficial transcripts um, that you can upload onto the application portal. Um, we don't do sort of, there's another one that you can do, but it's not, uh, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's like a grade report. We don't accept grade reports because there, there's certain information that um, we will need, like the admissions office will need to be able to calculate your GPA. So we'll need your unofficial transcripts. Should you receive an offer, that's when we'll ask for the official transcripts because a lot of the times there's a fee that's associated so we don't want you to have to um, request and pay for their official transcripts if you're not going to receive, if you might not receive an offer. So unofficial transcripts are fine. As well, the, um, there's an application fee of $130. So that's something you also you'll need to include as well. And so the next slide, yeah. Sorry, uh, just to, if you don't mind, Pip, I just saw another uh, question Perfect. come in. Do you require transcripts from all post-secondary schools attended? Absolutely. It's not required, but it's definitely very helpful. Um, it's, uh, I, I would suggest and encourage that if you've attended other academic institutions, whether it's college or university, or even just a few courses here and there, Feel free to, and I would encourage you actually to include those transcripts as well. Um, yeah, so that's a great question. Thank you for asking. Um, I always have people asking how many people we take in each program. So I'll let you know all that right now. Um, for a, our full-time advanced inning one year MSW program, we take 40 students. For our part-time advanced in the MSW program, it's okay. You can you can yep. go to the okay. I wasn't sure. Gives you the the website and uh, it gives you the website, but then also the the email address that you can reach out to us there. So that's Great. really good. So for our part-time MSW advanced inning students uh, program, sorry, we take we take twenty um, applicants. We take twenty. We provide twenty offers. There we go. And for our two year MSW program, so we only offer a full time program for um, our two year MSW program. Again, this is for people who do not have a BSW but have a relevant degree. <clears throat> we take 20 people. So um, it is a very competitive program. Um, and so anything you can do um, to really uh, strengthen your application, like looking over your statement of interest. Um, I would definitely recommend. Um, 
making sure that you take a look at our social work website to see what our mission statement is and just to make sure that um, you know you have that commitment to social justice and human rights and maybe even saving it um, but yeah so those are sort of the, the application requirements and how many people we take per year and um, and then also there's our email address if you have any further questions please feel free to reach out to that one and either myself or my uh, colleague Judy will respond to you okay that's great. Um, I don't think there are any more questions at this time. I, how many applicants do you get? Or is that just... <laughs> That's a good question. Is do you, it, or, or do you know or do you, yeah. do you care to share? I, I completely fine to share. So for our advanced sending MSW program, we get roughly about 100, 200 to 250 people who apply each year for 40 spots in our full-time program and 20 additional spots in our part-time program. For our two-year MSW program, as I mentioned, it is quite competitive. Um, we offer, we have 20 spots and are roughly 250 to 300 people might apply per year, from one year to the next. So it is very competitive. Um, and so ways that you might be able to strengthen your application is to have that academic reference. Um, we do suggest that you have one of your choice. If you're able to have another um, academic reference, it's really helpful. Again, not required, but helpful. Um, have, take a look at your statement of interest um, and make sure that it, you, know, you're, you're in, you talk about your interests you talk about maybe your commitment to social justice and human rights, as I mentioned, um, but then also your goals in the program. Why do you want to apply to York University School of Social Work? Um, and uh, I would, I've always suggested that if you have, if you know somebody who's a social worker, have them read it, make sure that it's clear and concise. If some, if you, everybody knows that somebody who isn't a social worker, so make sure that maybe even ask them to take a look at it. This is a sample of your writing and so, um, we're asking that you include some big ideas into a small amount of space. Um, so you only have 500 words. And so the selection committee is really trying to make sure that you are able to put big ideas together in a small amount of, of space. So making sure that you're really clear and concise is really, really helpful as well. Great. So. Yeah. I think I'm sure students really appreciate any tips uh, for that competitive <laughs> process. And you've put a lot of information into a short amount of time. So oh, <laughs> we really appreciate you uh, spending the time with us today, Pip. So thank you very much for telling us more really? about the program. Thank you to the students who came and asked questions. And uh, yeah, I hope that uh, students will connect with you to learn more about yeah. the program. We also, there's a, there's a couple of those links that I mentioned, um, if you're able to put them into the chat function or send them out somehow. We also have an event that's happening next week. Uh, one of our alumni is speaking about some of the work that he's doing. Um, so it's really quite interesting. You kind of get, a, you can kind of get a little bit of an idea of the social, the school of social work um, through that. Um, it's a teaching and learning against anti-black racism happening on Wednesday, the 21st from six to seven thirty. We also, if it's helpful, um, we also have uploaded a pro MSW program book for people to take a look at. Um, so that's really great. You can flip through. Um, it's kind of like an insider scoop on the School of Social Work um, from the faculty and current students as well as alumni's perspective. Gives a little bit more information than I was able to provide um, in this little session. Um, as well as we have a couple of info sessions that we go into a little bit more detail um, in those sessions as well. So feel free to, to join in. I would suggest that you take a look at our program book. It's super cool. We're really excited about it. Um, and uh, again, it gives you that little sneak peek into what the School of Social Work is, specifically with the MSW program. Um, maybe you can see yourself here. Great. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Bye. Take Bye care. Bye everyone. <laughs>